Hello everyone, it's Shalia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over update 10 because I just got to play it. So I'm going to share it with you. First thing I notice is that we have mail. So let's go check out our mailbox and see what we get. They mentioned that we were going to get mail from our villagers. So I can't wait to check this out. Let's see what we got. And our first mail is from Ariel. We have an interesting discovery. Shalia, I found these while diving off the shore of Dazzle Beach. I already have some in my collection. Maybe you could use these to add a beautiful festive pennant to the beach or whatever you'd like. I love that they're giving us stuff to make things. I think that's awesome. Even though I didn't need any of these materials, I'm glad they're doing it for those of you who don't have these materials. Our second one is something delicious. And this one comes from Belle. Oh, Shelly, I wanted to share a special recipe with you. The gray stuff. It was one of the kitchen specialties of the Beast Castle. And I just know you'll find it as delicious and enchanting as I do. I gathered all the ingredients so you can make it on your own. Of course, you can use them for whatever you like. I know you have a wonderful imagination. Now, where was this when I didn't know what the gray stuff was? Huh? Where, where was this? Thank you to all of you who told me what it was, because I don't know why I didn't know, but I didn't. So yeah, at least now I have the ingredients and I have the exact definition of what it was. And then we have the A Day at Disney Star Path has started. So this one is going to go on from May 1st to June 12th. So we only had, as of May 1st, 34 days to do this one. We are going to look at that here in a minute. Let's take a quick look at the shop because I really want to see what's in the premium shop right now. And we have so many neat items. They've given us so much. They've totally changed this menu. So we have so many things. I think there's like six bundles or something like that. There's a lot. And look at all of these items. I am so very excited about Hey Hey. Seriously, Hey Hey is going to be my pet. And then, of course, we got the Dumbo Flying Elephant ride back. You guys are going to love that, so make sure you get your hands on it. We've got so many things. We got Bonnie's toy set. We got the Kingdom of Corona trio set. We got Frozen Elsa again. Her That dress is beautiful, by the way. So if you can get that, get it. But I would go for all these other things first if you don't have the Moonstones, especially Carl's house. Who does not want the up house? This thing is going to be spectacular. I still have not put this out in my valley yet, but I will. I'm just not sure where I'm going to fit it yet. That's my only issue you right now and the disney parks entry how neat is this this is going to be excellent you can also toggle this for day and night if you want to so you can actually see what these things look like at night i think that is new i never noticed that before so i think that is brand new to this update and then we have hey hey the hey hey bundle this is so cute we've got hey hey and i absolutely love him i really do he was probably one of my favorite characters and look at his little house i have not put this out yet but i cannot wait to do it check him out at night like I love making it dark. I love that they added this feature. Oh my gosh. Let's move on to the next one. The next one we have is Ariel's dress. And the special thing about the Ariel's dress is check it out. They actually put you in the dress. Is that cool or what? I think that was a really neat little addition that they did for that. Let's move on to Bonnie's toy set. This is adorable. Look at this little sliding board and this wooden kitty stove. We have the kitty playroom shelf and the flower play table. Look. Those of you that have played Animal Crossing, everybody loved the froggy chair. I personally think the flower play table is going to be just like the froggy chair. I do. I'm just calling it now. Hopefully we have little chairs that go with this eventually because I think that would be adorable. I absolutely love this set. And of course we have the Dumbo, the flying elephant ride and Frozen Elsa and the Corona set. I'm not going to drill down into those, but let's move on to the Star Path. Oh my word. A day at Disney Star Path. It's time to bring the magic of visiting the Disney parks to your valley with the A Day at Disney Star Path. Mine for precious gems to make your valley sparkle. Get social with your villagers, create delicious treats, and go fishing. Some very magical rewards are awaiting. You'll be able to put a new spin on your village with iconic attractions such as the alien swirling saucers, the magic carpets of a Aladdin and more. Plus, unlock fashions inspired by iconic Disney characters and new looks for Daisy Duck and Minnie Mouse inspired by the storybook Circus at the Magic Kingdom. The excitement of making your very own Dreamlight Valley Park awaits. Step onto the A Day at Disney Star Path before time runs out. Oh my gosh, look at Minnie, look at Minnie. Let's get into the rewards. All right, so our first reward, of course, is Moonstones. I do buy them sometimes. Then we have a motif, and he is really cute. I love that dog from Toy Story. And then we have the Aladdin Magic Band. We have the Peppy Popcorn Squirrel Companion. I love that. The Toy Story statue, and we have the Toy Story fence. 
and an Aladdin t-shirt with Raja and Abu on it. How cute is that? But page two, we also, of course, start with our moonstones. And then we have a motif of Dumbo. He's so cute. And then we get the red umbrella chair. I am so excited about that chair. And then we have another motif here, which, like I said, I'm never into those. But here is the ice cream stand. I was wondering what that was. And look at the alien character backpack. Oh, my word. And this water spitting camel. It is separate. So if you did watch my last video, I wasn't sure if that was part of the ride or not. And then we have this, oh, look at this little train motif and the Tiki Magic Band. Like that a lot, actually. The Toy Story Recycling Bin, that one I like a lot as well. And then we have a fancy raincoat, which I could give or take that fancy raincoat. And our next thing is the Cave of Wonders Spirit Jersey. I do like that, but I'm, I don't know. But this is the one I really wanted. The Alien Swirling Saucers. This is going to be so awesome. I cannot wait to place this out in my valley. On to page four. Of course, we always have the moonstones and a cute little motif that is cute. Oh, we get this popsicle stick bench. I am so excited for this. It is only 10 tokens. So I am going to get that as soon as I can get my hands on it. It's going to be one of the first things that I get. And then we have this magic carpets of Aladdin. Love this. I've been loving it since I saw it in the trailer and I'm totally going to get that. What is that one? Oh, it says premium. So guys, I don't know if some of these, if you have to have like the premium, seriously, why are they doing that? You have to unlock the premium to even get some of these items. I of course ended up unlocking the premium, but I don't think that's very fair. But moving on to page five, sorry, we didn't go through all that. I had to go through that rant, but page five, we also get a motif and then we get this Toy Story magic band which is really cute, and the pretzel stand. This is what everybody's been looking forward to. I know this is going to be adorable in our valleys. I cannot wait to get it. And the Magic Kingdom Circus Daisy, look how cute. Although I like her the way she is, but this is adorable and I will get it. And the Luxo Umbrella Table. There's our table and it did not come with any kind of white chair. So that's a bum. And then of course we have the Alien Ear Headband. Let's move on to page six. We're almost through these. Of course, moonstones again. And we have a face paint, the neon Mickey makeup. And now we have a motif, which the alien motif is really cute. Look at this Toontown lamp post. Oh my gosh, I want to buy a bunch of those when I get it. I cannot wait. And this Abu character backpack, it's cute. I probably won't buy it. And then the Toontown fire station. Oh my gosh, still locked behind that premium package. But luckily for us, the Magic Kingdom Circus Mini is not locked behind that premium package. So who is going to grab this outfit as soon as they can. I know it's a hundred tokens, but I can't wait to see Minnie in that. I really can't. Oh my gosh. So cute. Love this star path. All right, let's move on to Scrooge's shop. Let's see what's new. All right, here we are at Scrooge's shop. Let's see if there's anything new. So far, nothing. I have all of this stuff. I pretty much have everything, so it's really hard for me to get new stuff in my store. Oh, but look, this is new. Oh, look at this. I love this phone. It's a vintage rotary phone. Oh, yeah, we're buying that for sure. And then the only other new things is that from the last update, that little pile of notebooks or whatever. And look, we got Daisy's picture. Right out the gate, we got Daisy's picture. I'm so excited about this. And you know what? I wonder if it's going to be like uh, Mickey and Minnie's pictures where they just show up all the time. Like every day you walk in, there's a new picture of Daisy. I can't wait to find that out. And look, I got a new chandelier. Huh? It's a polished chandelier. Oh, it's from Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Okay. Okay. I don't know if everyone gets those if you don't have the expansion. I'm hoping y'all do. But I really didn't need another chandelier to be quite honest with you. But there it is. We got it, right? Let's go find Daisy. I think that's what we really need to do right now. Let's find Daisy. So after about, I'd say, 20 minutes of looking for Daisy around my valley, I mean, I literally ran the entire valley. <laughs> I went to Donald's house. I went through my map looking for her. I went down through all my characters to make sure she was there. You're never going to find her that way. The first thing you've got to do to find Daisy is go actually talk to Mickey Mouse. And once you find Mickey and talk to him, he will tell you all about Daisy sending him a letter that she found something out about the forgetting. Once you have all 
that conversation with Mickey, he will give you her house to place in the valley and the You've Got Mail quest will begin. And all we have to do now is find a place to place her house and then upgrade it, obviously, or build it, so to speak. And then once we build it, she will come. You know that movie. You know that saying. If you build it, they will come. And unfortunately, there was a big old rock in the way when the house went up. But here comes Daisy. So as soon as Daisy gets into your valley and you get your first photo with her because you know you have to take a photo, go ahead and start talking to her. I recommend just giving her berry salad so that you can increase her friendship to two. And then once you've done that, you can now have her hang with you, which is what you want to do because I'm sure you want to hang out with her and get her first quest done because obviously, if you don't know it yet, the first quest is the boutique. So let's talk to her. Let's get her friendship up and then let's have her come along with us and we will go get that boutique. And it looks like her actual rewards for friendship levels are pretty, pretty cool. So that first one is the bow. I love that bow. And it looks like we have three motifs and then we have a hair hair dryer for level five and level eight is that little beauty I don't know beauty salon table I don't know what you call it but it is really adorable and I love her little dress I cannot wait to get that let's head down to her house let's go check that out and oh my word, look how cute this place is. See that couch on the right? I just got one in my Scrooge's shop, but it's not that color. I love that color. I wish they had that color. Oh my word, this chair. I cannot wait to get to level five so I can get this. I want those shelves too. I want that wallpaper. I want all of this. And I don't know, do we, I don't think we have that wallpaper, but if we, if we do, let me know in the comments because I did not get any new wallpaper in my store, which means we're not getting it or we already had it and I just didn't know it. So let me know. And look at this little boutique. We have to um actually do a little tiny little quest to make that bigger so we can set it out in our valley. But we'll go over that in just a second. I won't take too much more of your time, but I just had to go through all of this stuff. And come over here. Check this out. Look at this little beauty salon uh, desk, whatever. I don't even know what to call it, but look how cute this is. We do get that at level eight, but my question is, are we going to get those shelves? Those shelves, all the shelves in this house are so adorable and I need them. I absolutely need them. Anyway, what we have to do now is talk to Daisy. Daisy is going to tell us what we need to do to make the boutique big again. We're going to need to make the Wonderland Amplification Elixir. So let's head down to the crafting station. And to make this new elixir, we are going to need three dream shards, three topaz, five carrots, and three white daisies. And by the way, I find white daisies so difficult to find. So start hoarding them now if you need to. So once we make this, all we have to do is go back to Daisy's house, use the elixir on your watering can, and then once you've done that, all you have to do is water the little tiny boutique. Once you've done that, you will now have a large boutique in your pocket. So we're going to want to run up to wherever you're going to place this and place it. I've chosen to place mine in the plaza. It's a corner piece, so it was kind of difficult to put it very many places. So this is where I settled. This is where I'm going to keep it. I just have to decorate around it, and I'm not going to do that today, obviously. But once you get that set up, you can now go in and check it out. We're just going to go check out the inside. We're not going to do anything with the place. We're just going to look around. And I will be coming up with another video, a full tutorial on how this boutique works. So look forward to that. But let's go inside and check it out. Oh my gosh, look how nice this place is. I am so very excited to dig deeper into this, but for today, we don't have time to do that. But check it out. Everything is so very cool. And these mannequins, of course, all the mannequins you can interact with, these two up on the platform are special. And we'll go into that in another video, obviously. I've been saying that. So we are definitely going to go into all of this stuff in another video. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this update? Are you excited for Daisy and to do these challenges and actually do designs and display them? I know I am and I cannot wait to do this. The first one I do, you will see it because that will be part of the tutorial because I've already done some of this, but I just don't want to give it away in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. 
and let me know what part of update 10 you are so excited for. Is it the star path? Is it the new premium shop items? Is it Daisy's boutique? I want to know all your thoughts down below. So make sure you let me know. Thanks so much for following along with me again this week. I do appreciate all of you and we just hit 2000 subscribers. So I thank you all so much for doing that. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. But listen, I will see you all again next week in the next one. So I will see you later for now. Bye.